members, Michael Cloud spoke about elected libertarians. As a political party, that's what we endeavor to do is elect people to office. Well, we have elected some people to office. I'd like to welcome to the stage the highest ranking libertarian in a municipal office in the entire country, the mayor of Calamese, California, Mayor Jeff Hewitt. How many locally elected officials do we have in this room right now? Would you please raise your hand? Let's give them all a big hand. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay, how many people do we have in here that are running for local nonpartisan offices right now? How many? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay, we're all libertarians. We're all libertarians, that's for sure. You wouldn't come here, spend all the money to come on a plane and pay all this money for a hotel room, hotel room for some of us, unless you were libertarian. I've got news for you. We've got more people running for president right now than we have running for offices that we can all win. That's something we gotta change. Now listen, I'm a B minus student with a chrome knee, terrible shoulders, and a bad back. I have a weak mind and a weak body. But you've all seen the Iron Man movie, and what does Iron Man have? He has that one core that sits there and shines and makes him strong. I've got one thing in me, and it's in my DNA, and it's my libertarianism that is burning brighter and brighter every day. That cannot be taken away from me. And you all have it in you too. You just need to start getting that suit. And I'll tell you what, here's what I'm gonna tell you how to do it. I got elected on $1,300. And I wasn't the dynamic speaker that I am today. I didn't even have my new knee, I was almost in a wheelchair. But you know what I did? I got on a, a, a city commission first. I didn't want to run. I've been a libertarian all my life. I voted, I believe in 1972 when I went away to college for the first libertarian candidate. But I never got involved in the party until two years ago when I ran for state office. And that was one of the best things I ever did. Because you see, I found out about something about libertarians that are different than everybody else. We're a real pain in the ass. My God, it is harder to speak in front of a group of libertarians than it is in front of a bunch of jihadists. I mean, they go easier on us than you guys do. But you know, whenever we get doubts about our libertarian core, our libertarian values, my libertarian buddies get me drunk and point out the error in my ways. It keeps us honest, and that's what I'm saying. We are the only group of people that cannot stand up here and lie. We're the only group of people that can be honest, and that's what people want today. So getting back to being a city councilman, I was, I was asked in the middle of the Great Recession, do you want to be on a city council after being on a, 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 a planning commission for six years? I said, what does it pay? They said, $300. I said, I'm in. That was more than just grocery money. And when I ran and I won, I wanted to get in there and I wanted to change everything in our city to all these great libertarian, you know, fiscally, property rights, all kinds of things. And I found out there were four other people on the council. And I found out a staff to go, oh, nice little libertarian, behave yourself. And over the last five years, I got reelected because nobody ran against me. That was the greatest thing. I didn't have to run a campaign for my second term. And finally, over the last five years, I have converted my other fellow council members and my staff that my ideas are right. And now, and now, as a mayor, a weak mayor, because remember, I'm just one of the council, 
and I have to convince two others on my council to choose me as mayor. But by being consistent, sticking to my guns, it's finally arrived. We've got a new city manager, and just in time, when public safety is about ready to make this go bankrupt like they have so many other cities in California, I am taking on two of the most powerful public unions. There are the peace officers unions and our heroes, the firefighters. I am going to have, by next year, reduced our city budget. And our budget is only five million. We're a very small city. But I will get it down a good million to a million and a half just in dealing with choice and looking outside the box. And I will give them better service. These are things that we as libertarians, once we get elected, we have to choose our battles. But these are things that can reap far more treasure than anything else because if I accomplished this, every city in California would be coming to me to ask me how I did it. And you know what I'm gonna tell them? I'm gonna tell them I'm a libertarian. That's how you do it. Every time you use the word libertarian in a positive way, you are positively reinforcing each person that hears that, that's a good thing. I like to make fun of the fact that we used to carry along a lot of our tinfoil hats to keep those radio waves coming from other planets. But I kind of miss that day too, because that's what makes us who we are. And this party has to be inclusive. Because without all those great people that came before any of us, none of this would be possible. I stand in awe looking at a room that reminds me of the other two parties in excitement and size and everything else. But let me, let me go ahead, I'm gonna keep this short. I wanna tell you a few other things that are so important to me. Approximately two years ago, I woke, woke up one morning and I had lost the fear of death. Now, I'm not religious, not in any way, except maybe in my libertarian way. But the day I lost that fear of death was the day that I started living. We, as libertarians, have to apply that principle, especially politically. We are the right. We should go about with our heads high and with consistent going after, not going backwards, but taking people into our party and, con and, and, and convincing them that this is the right way. We will attain our goals. Because we have to seize the moment 